Hi there, everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about place value as well as rounding numbers, specifically those with decimals in it. So to get started, I'm going to switch us over to a slide that is going to share with us a little bit more about the place value of different numbers. Okay? So if we look at this number that I have made up for us here, it is 123,456 and 789 thousandths. So if you'll notice, I included in parentheses here, um, not only the words, the word form of each place, but also what that would look like in terms of number value. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the places of our different um, decimal numbers as well. So if you'll see, I pulled up the tenths place, the hundredths place, and the thousandths place. Um, when we look at place value though, if we start with the first number to the left of the decimal, that's our ones place. From there, each number to the left is 10 times greater than the last number. So we go from the ones place right here to the tenths, tenths place to the hundredths place into the next period or set of numbers, which is the thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. Okay? When we look at decimal numbers, those are all going to be found to the right of the decimal. Okay? So the first number in the first place to the right is a seven here. That place is worth tenths. Okay? If you'll notice something that all of our decimal places have in common, they all end in th in that th sound. Okay, so we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Okay, so this seven right here would be the same as taking seven over 10 or seven tenths. This eight is the same as eight over 100, eight hundredths. And this nine is the same as taking nine thousandths or nine over 1000. Um, so if you have a problem that is asking you to find, say, the number in the thousandths place, we're going to go three to the right of the decimal. And in this number, it would be a nine. This right here would be our thousandths. If it was asking for the number in the tenths place, we're going to go one to the right of the decimal and see our tenth, tenths here. Okay. Um, Kind of the opposite of the numbers to the left of the decimal, these numbers to the right get smaller with each place that you go over. So this eight right here, the hundredths place, is 10 times smaller than your tenths place. The thousandths is 10 times smaller than the hundredths place. Okay, and so on the farther out that you go. Okay, so now that you've seen what our different place values look like, Let's go ahead and look at what we would do if it asks you to round. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up a number here that I pulled straight from the homework packet. And that number would be 3 and 819 thousandths, or 3.819. Okay, so this should be the first problem on your homework packet. Let's go ahead and look though at what we would do if it asks us to round to the ones place. So I want you to think back a second to our place value. And we know that the number in the ones place is the first number to the left of the decimal, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to underline that number because that's the number it is asking us to round to. Okay, this is the place we're rounding to. And now when we round, we start with the specified value, right? We start with the place it tells us to round to, and we're going to look at the number to the right of it and see, is that number five or more, or is it less than four? If this number to the right of it is five or more, we're going to add one more. If it's four or below, we're going to let it mellow. We're going to keep it the same. So. Looking at this eight, is eight greater than or less than five? If you said greater than, you are correct, meaning 
that according to our rule, we need to add one more. Okay, so we're gonna add one more to our place that we're rounding to here, to that one's place, and we're gonna make our answer four. Okay, let me make that a little bit bigger for us so that we can see it a little bit better. Um, and the reason that we do this is because that is the same as telling us that this number is closer to four than it is to three, right? So when we round to the ones place, since this eight is five or more, it's greater than five, 3.819 is greater or is closer to four than it would be to three, right? So by rounding to the ones place, we're saying it's closer to four. Now let's look at what we do if it asks us to round to the tenths place. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and identify my tenths place. That's the first place to the right of the decimal. Okay, so we're looking at this eight right here. To round, I'm gonna look at the number to the right of it and ask, is this one five or more, or is it less than five? Okay, one is less than five. So according to our rule, we're gonna keep it the same, right? So this number rounded to the tenths place would be 3.8. And we make everything after that just a zero, right? Because when we round, everything after just becomes a zero. Okay. Now we're gonna look at the hundredths place. Okay, in the hundredths place, we have our one here. Our hundredths place is two places to the right of the decimal. Okay, so this is the place we're rounding to. Now I'm gonna ask, is the number to the right of it five or more, or is it less than five? Is nine greater than five? If you said yes, you are correct. That means that this number is closer to 3.82, sorry, that should be a two, 3.82 than it is to 3.81. Okay, since nine is five or more, we're gonna add that one more to our one and it becomes 3.82. Okay, now with a problem like this, if it asks you to round to the thousands place, it's gonna be real simple for you. You don't have to do a whole lot because if we look at our last number here, our nine, it's already in the thousands place. Okay, there's no number to the right of it to look at. If there was, it would just be a zero, right? So we're gonna keep it exactly the same. Okay, you don't even really have to round it there. It just stays 3.819, okay? So these are the main rules for rounding right here. Whenever you round, you go to the place it tells you to, and then look at the number to the right of it and ask, is it five or more? If so, we're gonna add one more. If it's less than four or four or below, we're gonna let it mellow. We're gonna keep it the same. Um, and that's how you're going to go about each of those problems on your homework. So if you have any more questions over that, definitely let me know. In the meantime, good luck with your work, and I hope you're all staying safe.